natural makeup look. So she texted me a list and exactly how she uses the products and for what reasons. So this morning I went out and did a little bit of makeup shopping because there was a few things that I didn't have. So let's get on with the makeup look. I'm going to start off by using the YSL Le Tonte Chiclat Foundation because this is what Eleanor told me she uses. And it does kind of make sense because her skin always looks um, very natural and dewy and that's the effect that you get from this foundation. A lady tried it on me this morning at the makeup counter and I kind of wore it for a couple of hours just so that I could get a good feel for what it's like before putting it on and kind of telling you guys what I think about it in this video. And obviously I've taken it off and have no makeup on now. Um, but yeah, it's very, it feels very light on the skin. Um, it's quite light coverage and just gives a really kind of dewy finish but I'll put it on now and show you guys. And I got the colour B50. Oh, and Eleanor made a point of saying that she doesn't always bother with foundation. Sometimes she'll just use her Touche Clac Concealer. Um, so you definitely don't need to be bothering with foundation every day if you don't need to. Okay, so I've moved a little bit closer now so that you guys can see in a bit more detail. I want to suggest the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation if this one is not in your budget because this is about £29 and this one is about £6.99 or something and they have a really similar finish. I don't know if you can tell because you've seen me use um, the Rimmel Wake Me Up in lots of my videos in the past um, but I would definitely say that they're really comparable. Do you say comparable or comparable? So now you have a luxury and a budget option for foundation for this look. Okay, for the concealer I've got the YSL Touche Clap because that is what Eleanor uses. And I'm just putting this under my eyes. Also a tiny bit around my nose. And I'm just blending that with my finger. I'm actually kind of glad that I had to go out and buy this for this makeup look because it has a really brightening effect and I like it a lot. Eleanor uses the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which is what I use as well but I can't find mine anywhere. I think I've had this problem in a video before a few months back. I was like, oh, I want to use my Rimmel Stay Matte but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection which is a loose powder. But if you really want to get the real Eleanor Calder look then you want to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because that's what she uses. And I would highly recommend that powder as well. I'm just popping this all over my skin. Using a Real Techniques uh, multitask brush, I think this is called. Eleanor likes to go for quite a bronzed up look and she loves the Nars Laguna bronzer which I love as well as you'll be able to see when I show you that there is not much left in there. So I'm kind of just going for an all over bronze look so just concentrating on the tops of my cheeks and then putting it across my forehead, down my nose, on my chin just to add a nice bit of colour and get that kind of sun kissed look that Eleanor goes for. Eleanor told me that she loves the Topshop cream blush and I have this one here in neon rose which is a really pretty pink colour. So I'm just adding a little bit of that to the apples of my cheeks and it has a really pretty little flush of colour. Oh my god, I'm literally in love with this skin makeup, guys. I seriously, I love how my skin looks right now. It looks so glowing and bronzed, but very natural. I sound like I'm blowing my own trumpet now, but it is all the makeup. It's not me naturally, is it? But, um, but it looks natural, and I love it. So that is my skin done, and I think this just looks... Ooh, so glowy. Okay, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using... This is a Rimmel eyebrow pencil in the colour... 002 Hazel. I love that it has a little brush on the other end because I always use those. And I want to go for a really natural look with my brows so just going to gently fill them in. Eleanor doesn't really bother with eyeshadow too much on a day-to-day -day basis but I didn't want to put nothing on so I'm just going to sweep Sin which is a really natural kind of nude shimmery eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going to just sweep that all over my lid. So that was Maybelline the Falsies Mascara, I think I forgot to show it before I started putting it on. Um, it's just such an amazing mascara, I recommend this to everyone. I've been through so many of these in the past year, it just makes your lashes look amazing and I love it. Okay, so that's the makeup almost done, now for the lips. When I asked Eleanor what she uses on her lips, I was quite interested to find out because her lips always just look really natural, quite a pale nude colour, but really nice and natural. And what she does is actually quite interesting, she uses Vaseline, so that keeps her lips nice and hydrated. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of that because she's not really a lipstick, a full on lipstick or lip gloss kind of girl. She's so natural looking, which I think is lovely. So, got my Vaseline on, and then she gets her Touche Clat and just puts a tiny bit over the top, and it creates this really kind of cute pale nude colour. So I'm literally just putting a tiny bit over, blending it in with my finger, and it's given me a colour similar to MAC Hue, something like that. But I'm guessing the reason why she just uses her concealer is that 
I mean, she only has to have one product, but under her eyes and on her lips. And I know that concealer lips are usually thought of as a really bad thing, and often they are, like when girls just get full on foundation and just put it all over the lips and completely blank the lips out. But I think that a little bit of Touche Clout on top of the Vaseline just really kind of, oh, itchy nose, just really kind of highlights your lips and just gives you that nice kind of pinky pale nude colour. So guys, that is my finished natural everyday makeup look inspired by the lovely Ellen Calder.